All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. So uh, today we are replacing the brakes on my Civic, but this is the first time I'm doing this because I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a tutorial when it comes to today's install. And that's because I went to look on how to do the brakes on this car and I couldn't find a single video that was explaining this properly. So I'm gonna do it for all of you guys that have an EF or a CRX or something similar. It should be easy enough. My dog's barking. Let's just get right into it. All right, so here is what we've got. They're nothing special, right? I'm just using this as a street car. We don't need anything crazy. So uh, we've got some ceramic brake pads right here because those need to be done. That was our main issue in the first place. And then we just have some nice cross drilled and slotted rotors here. So uh, these are quite nice. They should do the job just fine for driving on the street. Easy enough to install here. So um, it looks like this is gonna be pretty straightforward. It shouldn't be that difficult. Um, it should be relatively easy. Those are famous last words. But anyways, we'll just go ahead and we'll give it a try. The videos that I did watch explained how to do it, but they were not very clear and not filmed well. So I'm gonna make sure this is clear and filmed well so that if you're trying to do this, you can just follow along nice and easily. Well, first things first, before we do anything, let's get this thing on some jack stands. Right, now that we have the wheel off you can see why we're doing this look at this right here our brake pad literally split in half somehow and the rotors as well along the outside here you can see those are very worn so they needed to be done pretty bad they're rusting like that obviously this is okay this surface rust this will just happen if a car sits but this stuff on the outside this top half that's when you know your rotors need to be replaced when they start splitting especially right there not sure if you can see that but it is splitting so anyways, we'll get this all situated. And from the video I watched, it looks like we've got two 17s. So, all right, so this is pretty straightforward. So you've got three 17s back here, or uh, this is a 14 or a 12, it looks like, uh, right here. And this is for the caliper. And then for the actual rotor itself uh, in the back here, there's one here on the bottom and then one on the the top which is right here very straight forward so let's start with getting the caliper off this should be pretty easy okay and to get the caliper off which is what we're gonna do first uh, you just need a nice little 12 mil right here that'll go right on the back of this guy we'll undo this and then this should rotate out all right so on the top half so if you're facing me uh, the top half of the rotor, we've got a 17 right here. And that fits on nicely there, so we'll undo that one. Next, and we should have another one on the bottom, right where my finger is right here. You can feel it back here. All right, it's a little disassembled already because I took the brake pad out. You could see how it uh, split there. That obviously isn't good, but basically this bolt that you just took out, this little 12 mil that was in the back right here, slots into that little sleeve. And then you have to push the sleeve back like this so that you can uh, rotate the thing out. And then it might take a lot of force. Mine did because this is a very rusty car in this area. But now you can see it slides up just like that and you can access the pads now. So these are obviously, if we can get them out here, they are completely, completely destroyed. All right, so obviously this is the... Uh, yeah, just look at that. That is <laughs> no good right there. Those are some destroyed brake pads if I've ever seen them. Not safe to be driving on stuff like that at all. All right, now that we have that up in the air, we can access our bolts to uh, back here, which are both 17s. And so you might need to use a lot of force or a hammer or something to um, get some leverage to take these out. They're very, very tight at least in my case. And so it's gonna take a lot of effort to get this off. So don't be surprised if you got an old Civic, if these are tough to get out. Helpful little tip, if you are finding that these are really hard to get off and you don't have air tools or something to use, I'm gonna set my camera back here and show you how I did this. 
set the camera down like that you can see i'm kind of like laying down and i set our 17 right here i take our 17 okay 17 goes on and then i was using my right leg right here and kind of kicking against the bottom of the breaker bar to break that bolt loose so that uh, you could get more leverage on it it's a little harder if you use your hands you can't really get that much power so using your legs if you're skinny and frail like me it helps with getting some extra power also it'll help if this is kind of getting in your way and you feel like you can't get to something because of it just use a bungee cord i just have a bunch of these laying around in my garage just hang it from the spring or um your suspension or whatever you just get back in there and we're almost done this one's just about to come out so now uh, we should be able to get the rotor off and i think we gotta undo these two screws as well be very careful when undoing these okay so you can see the caliper has now completely come off uh, we are going to need to compress the piston inside once we put it back on but we'll save that for a second as for now that is all completed now we have to get the rotor off all right we've got our mini little impact driver here and you're going to need a phillips head i'm not sure which one is going to fit we could test right now we have this larger one which will go in there quite nicely and then this one i think fits a little bit more the smaller one so you want to be very very careful when doing this right we don't want to strip these bolts or else we're going to have a major problem so just be very careful taking it off i'm actually going to grab a screwdriver as well all right that'll do the trick and just very gently we're going to take this out and make sure we do not strip this you do not want to strip these or you're going to have yourselves a very big problem all right so all we're going to do is get it in there and we're just going to break it loose with the power tools and then use the hand tools to take it out See, for that exact reason, so you can see it was starting to strip itself. And so then we'll go in with the hand tools and just very gently take this out, all right? That's the most important thing. Again, very gently, make sure you apply a lot of pressure to it. All right, and so that broke it loose right there. Take your hand tool and just go in there and gently take the thing out right you don't have to be that aggressive with it that's how you break stuff and trust me when i was a young kid working on cars learning how to do this stuff i made many mistakes like that which is why i'm teaching you guys just be very gentle with it and make sure you also put stuff back the way you took it out as well so we'll know that that's left side that's right side and this should be ready to come off now okay i think our rotor is ready to come off now yes it is okay so you can gently just take it off there's our old one i'll show you guys exactly what i was talking about why this needs to be replaced you can see the corrosion around the ring of the rotor and it's just quite old right it's probably been on here for many 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 years you can even see in the back here if i can get that in the sunlight just how crusty that is in there and there's some separation going on which is definitely not what you want so that needed to be done I'm glad we have that out let's take the new ones out and let's install those okay so again you want to pay attention when you open the box they should be labeled for you so this one is our left driver's side so we can just set that off to here for now because that's the left we are working on the right side currently so this would be our right side and so we have this one very important on the box it should tell you as well it is rust protected with a coating so we need to take some brake cleaner wipe that off so that none of that slippery stuff is on there um, because that's obviously going to reduce our braking force by a dramatic amount and you don't want that all right so since it's coated in that rust protection we have some brake cleaner so we're just going to spray a little bit on there wipe all of that off so we don't have any of it on there just make sure you don't get any of this in your eyes just spray it on there and just give it a good old clean and wipe all that stuff off so that you don't got any of it on there. All right, so that should be fine. Now it's time to install our pad. So it's gotta go like this right here. You wanna make sure that you, uh, whoops, sorry. You wanna make sure that you line it up with uh, the screw holes that we obviously took out. So that would be, if I can get the camera to sit somewhat correctly, that would be somewhat like this right here. 
and there you go that is on there so those are our new brakes on so uh, we'll install the screws first so that it'll hold itself and you know what we haven't done this in a while I'll do it POV style for you where did that screw go it's here somewhere all right and we can just take that and slide that right in there like this so that it's all back together again. Again, we don't want to strip anything, right? So for you young car people out there, getting your first project car or getting ready to work on your first car, just be very easy with it, right? We don't need to tighten this stuff so that it you know, strips itself or breaks anything, right? So we just got to get it in a nice spot to where uh, those screws are gonna hold it in and we can just leave it like that. All right, so here's our brake pad set. This is what we're gonna do next because the caliper has to go back on. So first we're gonna compress the piston. I'll show you guys how to do that. And then it uh, looks like this brake pad set comes with some different little hangers for the brake pads. And then you obviously have the pads here themselves. And uh, usually every brake pad set is gonna come with uh, synthetic grease, which you uh, need this stuff right here. And so we're gonna use that as well. Okay, so once your rotor is back on and everything is attached, you can start uh, reattaching the brake pads. I couldn't think of what to say there. Um, so our back brake pad is back in. It's very simple. There's just a clip up here on the top right there and a clip on the bottom here. And you just push down on the bottom one and slot it in. Make sure you compress the piston in there because we're going to have to put this back on. And so I can do the front one with you guys, which is over, I believe this guy right here. And so very simple, you just get it in the bottom slot right there. And then you gotta do the same thing of if you can just kind of slot it in and you just maneuver it in there. And once it's in place, it'll clip into place and it'll stay there. That's how you know you've done it right if it clips into place. All right, so there you go. You can see it has now clipped into place. So now it's time to get the caliper back on. You can see I have it suspended by this cord. So you have to compress the piston so you can get back around the uh, the pads here. And that should be your whole install complete. Everything should go back together as uh, you took it apart. All right, it is the following day. Everything has been completed. They have been installed correctly. If we go down in here, you can see I was wearing them in yesterday. Just drove the car uh, around for a little bit, probably about 10, 15 minutes to bed the brakes in and uh, gave it some good testing. Everything works a-okay. So uh, the only issue we did have was um, over on this side, I don't even know how this happens, but the actual, uh, there's the two bolts that we went over the one on the top for whatever reason the threading started like I don't even know how to explain it it started like peeling that's the only issue I had with the car I it was able to go in there back fine but I will probably buy another bolt just to be safe anyways but that is what we have now brakes are completely installed they work correctly and so that is an easy tutorial for you guys on how to install the brakes on your EF Civic if you've never done it before all right, everyone, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a pretty easy install. Granted, it was a little difficult to get the bolts off. That's what you get for having a car that's 30 years old. Sometimes things are difficult to get off, but that is our install for today. I drove the car around for probably about 10, 15 minutes. Just bed the brakes in a little bit. They could probably use a little bit more wearing in, uh, but everything worked correctly. Everything worked fine. It was a pretty smooth install, but as I said, things can be a little difficult with a 30 year old car to get rusty bolts off and whatnot. So please, if you are doing this job yourself, just be careful when you're taking stuff off. It's not my fault if you break something. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting the channel. And that's going to be it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Peace out.